What's up, North County? I'm your host, Randy Doty, and we are in the Eagle's Nest with Coach Crow. Welcome. Welcome. Glad to be back. Yeah, finally. It's been a couple weeks. Yeah, it's been a while. It's been, yeah, it's been good, though. Yeah, how's the, how's the fields looking from all this rain? Uh, it got pretty tore up with soccer, but they're, they're, uh, they're going to play powder puff on it Friday night, then it's going to be reseeded and shut down until we get there in the su- next summer. Oh, they have powder puff Friday? Yeah, they're going to have powder puff, too. Junior girls are playing the sophomore gr- or senior girls in a flag football game. Oh, awesome. I'm glad you said something because I didn't hear anything about yeah, it. Yeah, and then so I was talking to a couple of senior boys this morning. We were better players than we are coaches. <laughs> they, go, they go, it's like herding cats but because the girls, don't, you know, they're just out there wanting to run around and have fun. So, uh, yeah, because yeah. then the, cause the boys are the, the coaches. coaches and, yes, the football players so, are the coaches. So who do you think is going to look like you? Who's going to look like, uh, let's see. All the coaches, you know how they do that. I know, I know No Brady and J- Jen Martinez and Dylan Kreiling and I think Dylan Hemley. I know for sure coaching the seniors, and I'm not sure it's coaching juniors. I think Anthony Chavez and some of those guys are, <laughs> but I know. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fun. Oh, awesome! I'm glad you said something because that's a that's a fun time. Yeah, because they they actually stopped it for a couple of years. Yes, had some injuries, so they stopped. That it. last yeah. time got pretty rough. They yeah. stopped it during the game. Yeah. Yep. Wow. So I think they've got some new rules this year, so hopefully it works out. <laughs> awesome. Well, cool. So we got a lot of stuff to talk about football. Yes. So, I mean, I'm, I, I like football all year round. I'm sure you probably yeah, do, we're too. Rolling. Yeah. But uh, you guys are doing a lot of stuff in the off season, So we are gearing up for the FCA All-Star raffles, right? Yes. So the, the starting next, we'll get the tickets next week. So uh, in June, June 3rd, FCA sponsors a high school All-Star football game between uh, – the North San Lu- North Santa Barbara County and San Luis Obispo County, and we all have five players in it: uh, Landon Miller, Dylan Kreiling, uh, Jan Martinez, Dylan Hemley, and Noel Brady have been invited to play. They're going to play, but tagged on to that, uh, sponsored through, totally sponsored through FCA's. There's a car raffle, mm-hmm. and at halftime to give away, I think it's twenty or twenty-five thousand dollars towards a car. And there's some dealerships in in the area that pitches in. So only I think so nobody's on the hook for more than like twenty five hundred bucks of it, and then uh, they they allow all the high schools to sell the tickets and FCA collects all the money, but a hundred percent of the tickets Templeton sells we get all that back. So last year we oh, raised nice. almost twenty seven thousand dollars for football. We oh, sold wow. so we sold over uh, what's that over thirteen hundred tickets, almost thirteen fifty. Wow. So that will start ne- end of next week. The kid will get. Well, we want to make sure the kids had their tickets for spring break. And for Easter, so when they see their families, uh-huh. and you, we've had people live all. It, you can live anywhere to win. Uh, you just have to come to California to get your car. But we've had tickets sold all over the country. But anybody can win. You don't have to be at the game to win. And in 2019, Vanessa Duhan, who teaches math at Templeton High, won the car. Oh yeah. So That's right. every ticket our kids sell, no, they don't take anything off the top for administ- for printing of the tickets or nothing. That's all sponsored. Oh, that's great. So we were the highest selling football team out of the 16 schools last year. Oh, super awesome. Yeah, so hey. the kids will be hitting them up, hit start selling it. Yeah, it's 20 bucks. get a shot to win a car. So that's very cool. dirt cheap. So the kids all have their tickets by next by next Friday. And that's a, such a great program. And you actually, now you have one of your coaches that's part of that. Correct. Dave Johnson, who coaches our linebackers and running backs, is actually the head of FCA for Central California. So all of uh, Santa Barbara and... Uh, what a great person Santa, to be that. San Luis Obispo County. Uh, Dave's great. Dave, it's a perfect job for him because he gets to be around the kids still because they go out and do their huddles at different schools and he gets to you know worship and, and lead his faith and uh great great opportunity for him when it came up i said do this he goes i get to still coach i go well, that's great for us but that's a great <laughs> opportunity for you to get involved in that oh absolutely program at that high a level yeah and, and the, the fca um all-star football game is huge yeah it's been going for 12 years and last year we played at napomo and it was sold out i mean there was people everywhere and this year, the game's at Pioneer Valley, and like I said, on June 3rd at 6 o'clock, and we play at Pioneer Valley. So we're going back. That's where the first game was held back 12 years ago, so we're going back there this year. Awesome. And so, the, obviously, the boys are getting ready. They're in the weight room. Oh, that's going great. We had our uh, – uh, the new weight room has been a godsend for us. We've been in it now for a little over a year, and we went back and have uh, started comparing some of our lifts to the past, and we put up – we got a – We've got our football strength board. Now, where it says all-time leaders. Now, some people are probably going to watch this and go, I lifted more than that when I went to Templeton. Right. So let's be perfectly clear. that This started when I came back as head coach in 2019 because I do not have any complete records before that. Now, I know some individual kids that have lifted sure. that played for me in 04 and 05 and 06 and 08. 
you know, that have higher lifts than that. But I had no complete list. So we, so starting uh, with your son's team, right? That team starting with 2019, we have I have a complete record of bench squat and cleans for everybody that's played. Mm -hmm. So we started there, and as you can see, your son's still on the list. Yeah, for, he's still on there. As, uh, yeah, he's third. hanging there. Yeah, hanging in there in the bench press. We're hoping we knock him off, Robbie. Not <laughs> to, <laughs> we hope we knock him off in May, but that you know, because that's what we want. You know, we yeah. want the kids to to strive to knock those top guys off. That's awesome. Um, and we had uh, so we go back and we're comparing where we were. I compare him to that team because that was such a good team, and I compare him to last year. So at uh, this time in last year, we had about. 15 kids at bench 225, over 200. Now we have 27. Uh, we had, I think, 14 or 15 kids squat 300. We have 28. And we have nine over 400. Oh, nice. So, uh, so we're, as a, and what, you know, we've had some guys do individual guys, but we're looking for our overall team strength is way up. Oh, very I mean, cool. We're getting a lot stronger. Uh, kids are working super hard. Uh, so now, how does that work with the with the weight room, Coach? Um, I mean, obviously, it's you know, you and I like to think yeah. it's a football, you know, yeah. but it's really everybody's using right. It. But we have a football class in the mornings, the zero okay. period class. You know, we do that's football only, um, and it's mainly geared for varsity. Uh, there's Walker Craven, who's oh, pound for pound our strongest kid overall, doing uh, med ball slams this morning. Uh, so. He's, he's actually a 1,000 pounds. That means he's between bench, squat, and cleans added together. He's over 1,000 pounds. Oh, no. And what position is he playing? He's going to play defensive end and guard for us. Oh, cool. Yeah. Uh, so back to – so and then in the after school, we have – I have uh, after school, the coaches can sign up to use it, and it's there for every sport. Okay. And, and so we're trying to work out a way to get an overall strength coach. But it seems like most of the individual coaches of the sports now are taking on their own weight, weight training program because of the new weight room. So I know Coach Ramos is in there with basketball, and Coach Rubin's in there with soccer, and I know Coach Swank used it for softball, and Coach Reynolds obviously is using it for baseball, and I, we have a ton of baseball players that play football, so they're already in there. So it, it's, a, a, it's, it's so you, overall. So you, you used to have um, um, Coach Sable. 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 Right. Yeah, he came and did the strength program, but when COVID hit, that got cut out. Now we're trying to figure out a way to get that back and get the funding for that back. And mm. and because he works at Pass Robles uh, Athletic Club out across from Barney Schwartz. Mm -hmm. And he runs their weight, weight room and weight program. And he's super knowledgeable and he's a great guy. I loved having him in there. Oh, power lifting. Uh, I did mean. a great job with teaching a technique. Great job. And uh, so huh. we're, I know there's a move to try to find a strength coach again. And so hopefully next by... In the summer, we can get that worked out and get somebody to be there after school to help all the other sports do their hmm. strength program. And, it, and it's, it's, it's our, like we have 55 kids in there right now in football. Those aren't all varsity players. We have a few kids that will be probably on the JVs that came and asked if they could come in the morning and have been showing up. And I get, you know, there was some pretty strict, you know, you got to be there. Mm -hmm. You got to come all the time. I don't want hit and miss guys. And you and you have to be able to hang in with some older kids, not just in a way. You don't really have to hang in with the weight room, but you have to be able to be around the older group that's been in there and, and, and fit in. Right. Uh, don't, I don't need distractions in the morning, but we have a few freshmen. and I have to, I have to come by and check it out. I haven't yeah, ever yeah, seen it. Yeah, we start at 7 o'clock. We go 7 to 8, okay. Monday through Thursday. Awesome. We don't go on Fridays because I keep it that same. During the season, we don't go on Fridays because we have game day, so I keep it that way. There's Johnny Pashong right there doing some uh, pull-ups this morning. So I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're probably pretty excited to see what he lays on the field this wow. year. Wow, you know, it's, it's interesting because he had such a unique season. It, it, you look at his stats, and, you, and I went back and watched every game. I, I go back and watch every game in the, in the spring and, and just watch how people tried to, the people that did and didn't try to block him or make scheme adjustments to him. And uh, what, you know, so we moved him around. We, towards when we got in the playoffs, we moved him around more. Hmm. Where he wasn't just lining up in the same strong side, weak side, whatever. We did some different stuff with him. Now, do, do you think Templeton, and, and you probably know this from with the stats, but is there, I mean, he seems like he's leading. I uh, mean, as long as I can remember, we haven't been even close. Yeah, I mean, I mean, he's not only locally, not, you yeah. know, top, I mean, statewide. But, but our section, yeah, he, he did some, he, gr some crazy for his physical size. He did some pretty amazing things, but he plays with such a high motor, and he's 
he's the second strongest guy on our team, and he's the highest bench presser. And he, and he, but he really, I say this a lot. He feels the game. He understands the game. He naturally does some stuff that kids just don't do. Hmm. And part of it's how hard he plays, and and he's he's a fun kid to be around. He's a fun kid. He's just a fun, and he he he's having fun. Yeah. Right. And he and he's got a a tremendous. Uh, we call it coachability. You can teach him things, and he can do it. You don't mm-hmm. have to teach him, you know, fifteen times, a couple times, and he's got it. You know, he he. There's, and we have we've had other kids like that, but he he's pretty unique. You know, he's just a unique kid. Awesome. And, and we, we we're so and that's Alex Love who's coming back. Um, yeah, he's missed two seasons. Right. Yeah, he's going to be great. So I great coached Alex in seniors when he was in youth. And I ran across, ran into him at where he works at Pier Forty Six, right. and he's like, "Hey, coach!" And I and literally, I went and sat back down, and my wife goes, "Who was that?" I'm like, "I have no idea." And it was because he was much, you know, smaller, smaller, yeah. you yeah. know, chubbier. I mean, he's filled. I mean, he's he's, he's a stout looking yeah, kid. He's, he's he's doing really well. He had an injury as a sophomore, and then chose not to play last year uh, over that. And he's back and ready to go. And wow, that's got to uh, be exciting. Too, oh, it's great to have. Him. We're always great to have linemen. We want linemen. Uh, and and quick gonna, and, yeah, and versatile. He's, I mean, he's, he's a good athlete, too. He can move. Yes. That's awesome. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we're, we're very excited about our group. You know, we've got a lot of kids back. They've worked really hard. We're finding, watching them work. We're finding some kids we think will f- plug in those spots that were guys we've lost or gra- going through graduation. And, again, you know, the weight room, besides getting a stronger we talk a lot, and this is unique to us. This is unique to Templeton of this area. You know, our weight rooms, even though we got a new one, it's still, we'd like to have one twice that size. Mm-hmm. But we built that outside area, and we put down the uh, rubber mats. So we lift. We still have half our kids outside half the, half the class, So and then we switch them. So like the other day when it was 28, we're still lifting, mm-hmm. you know, and it's cold. I mean, it's been cold here, cold and wet. And so, well, they got to play in that cold, too. Well, and... It makes us tougher, and it makes us better, and it makes our kids, you know, more team oriented. And they're, you know, we use the word esprit de corps, you know, where they're 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 about each other, and they're not standing over the corner shaking. Yeah, they know. they work their butts off. They'll and, they'll they'll heat up their core. Right, and, and and we and they're motivated to do it, and and it's something we hang our hat on. We you know we every school has their own niche, right? Do something different, and this is something different for us. Very cool. Yes. So now and now you have your your team store open. Yes. So tell me about that. Okay, so we have for all the players and parents can jump on it too. Um, there's part. Yeah, I sent it, the sent the link out yesterday to every single parent and player I have an email on, and it you that has all our Templeton stuff. It has sweatshirts. It's got the long sleeve shirts for when it gets cold. It's got we get, we're giving every kid green shorts and gray shirt one, mm-hmm. but you know it, they get smelly, right? And right. Then, so we put a second one on the <laughs> on the. Uh, team shop they can buy and then we have long sleeve shirts also that are loose fitting to work out in that aren't the super tight compression like game shirts we put the in the bottom right there there's the seven pad girdle so you just put that on it's got all your pads and it's for the kids to keep it yeah because that's what you you guys wear you don't you're not putting pads into pants anymore we don't like that so you get the girdle yeah. and then you're pulling over the Pull pants. The pants right over it yeah and that's been a uh, last year we had 97 orders we did really well with that, and that's not a fundraiser for us. That's mm-hmm. but the prices we get a because gr- we do so well with that. Uh, BSN gives us a great price on that stuff. Like you know, sweatshirts are thirty bucks, and the compression shirts. I mean, you go to the you order um, Nike leggings online, they're like sixty something bucks. Mm-hmm. And we have a pair because it's hard to find dark green that matches our right. green. Well, Nike we have Nike uniforms, so we put Nike the green if they want the green leggings. On there to stay warm. Yeah, we put those on there. And so these are all the approved yeah, apparel the yeah, for so. the, the players to wear because yes, you yep. want everybody to match. You don't Correct. want, you yes. know, wearing I'm a different green. That. And I'm I, I'm a little picky about that. We I'm know that. that. <laughs> and we wear black cleats, and, uh, and we were trying to get black cleats on the team shop, but they're not available right now. Not yet. They wouldn't be available for this order. So, um, so you know, get online. Okay. Go, go to Dicks and go to. Uh, Amazon and go to those things and you'll you'll find cleats out there, but cool. yeah. But we're uh, last year was pretty tough for that. But so yeah, that's out there and that's uh, and if you're a parent or a player and you did not receive the email from me about that, that means I don't have your email. I should have all the players, 
but there's some parents I think I might have missed in our could make the parent meeting. I haven't been able to run down their email. Uh, contact me at school. You know, every, my email is just like all the other teachers, D. Crow at Templeton US. I'll say it slower. My wife always says I talk way too fast. <laughs> D. Crow at Templeton usd.org just like if you're emailing any teacher in our district or okay. call me yeah call the school they'll give me a message yeah but yeah there's so i sent out 200 something emails this morning or yesterday and then i sent a reminder out because it closes the it closes april 10th and we have to close it by then so we can get the order in get everything put together and made and then sent back to us so the kids can have this the shirts to work out in and, and do start summer stuff in. Because you start uh, spring ball in May. May 15th. May 15th. Okay. And that's for everybody but the current 8th graders at TMS. The current 8th graders cannot participate in spring football. Until they graduate. Until they promote, yep. And they'll start, uh, I believe it's April, uh, June 12th. June okay. 12th is the first day we have them. So mm. we want them to have their Templeton stuff because we want them to wear their Temple, well, Templeton stuff in the weight room and sure. when they're practicing. All uniform and looking yep. like a team. Yep, we don't want people out there in red or... Awesome. You know, orange or blue or gold. <laughs> yeah. So we're yeah. Good. Well, so speaking of that, I mean, you know, you, you got another big, big event coming up. You have your guys' Idaho trip. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. I that, mean, that, that, that's, that's, that, we, that's really been a nice carrot for the kids to get ready to play. We go, we fly out August 25th. To, we fly into Idaho Falls, and we play on August 26th. And we're playing a team called uh, Sugar Salem High School from Sugar City, Idaho. And they have won four of the last five state championships in their division. Oh no! So they're 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 legit. And but it's only a school. It's a smaller school than us. They're probably five hundred and fifty five. But they're a public school. But they play. I mean, when you win that much, they're doing something right. We've already traded film with them. And thank God their quarterback graduated. He's a pretty <laughs> dang good player, like ours was when your son played. Yeah. Very 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 similar player to Tyler. Oh, really? Excellent runner. So could, very physical. And could throw it to, yeah, about the same size. And they would spread out with just him in the backfield and let him run. And But he's graduated. Uh, the, uh, but they're they're super successful. I mean, mm. you don't win four out of five state championships and not be – they're well coached. They know what they're doing. It's going to be a big challenge for us. But we've accepted it. You know, we if we're going to go – we knew going out of state to play, we're not going to go play some 2-18. and But we're going to go play somebody really good because that's how you get invited to this thing. Sure. And uh, we got invited actually after the 2019 season, but due to COVID and fundraising and all kinds of, uh, you know, different things, we just were able to get there this year with scheduling. So What an experience. That's yeah. going to be super fun, not not only for the kids but the coaches. I mean, just yeah. the, the whole experience. Yeah, we, we, we're going to fly out of Santa Maria on a charter flight. On uh, Allegiant that flies that flights that go to Vegas. Well, they, mm -hmm. you can charter their flights. So we're flying out of there at nine o'clock in the morning. We have this, the players and coaches in. Uh, we sold sixty five. There was plane seats over one hundred and twenty. So we sold sixty five tickets to the parents and families to go with us. And then we fly into Idaho Falls. We get there at noon when you lose the hour time. We bus over to the hotel. We're staying at a uh, casino, hotel casino, an Indian casino there that has a hotel, nice place. And we get there, and they're going to have a banquet room set up for a lunch for us. And then we check in, and then we go practice. They're in Pocatello at one of the high schools. And then we go to dinner. Uh, Brandon Wall, who's a fireman here locally, it did the stair climb in Seattle. And I'm, mm -hmm. I think you guys had him. You guys probably have had him. Yep. I know you talked about the stair climb he's probably on. His son's on our team. Well, his brother lives in Pocatello and owns a cement company that does curbing and sidewalks. Okay. So he's invited the whole team. And the parents to his place for a barbecue dinner after our practice. Oh, fun. So that's going to be nice. It's, uh, Kurt, the name of the business is Kershaw Gutters and Sidewalks or something like that. Awesome. And then we go back to the hotel, hang out, go to bed, get up the next morning. We'll have a team with just the players and coaches breakfast in the same banquet room and be able to do a walkthrough and talk about the game. And then we'll go back and they'll get cleaned up and check out and we play at one o'clock. Wow. And then we play. Super and then fun. Uh, the guy, one of the, the place where we're playing is set up a deal for our kids to eat after the game for free. And now, are the, are the fields inside? No, are they, they, outside? They, they've played inside Idaho State before, but Idaho State remodeled. And since that, they haven't played. But we, we're just playing on a field at Rexburg, Idaho, uh, Madison High School. It's a big stadium. Hmm. You know, and it's a big, they're a big school. That's not who we're playing, but it's a big school and it's a nice setup. And they've treated us great. So then we, we eat. 
get on the bus, go back to the airport and fly home. We're supposed to be home about 7.30 Saturday. And now you're still, you're, you're looking for sponsors still? Yes, we've had some people sponsor uh, the two team meals. Mm -hmm. the two, and then we're looking for somebody that would like to help out. You don't have to pay the full thing, but we'd like to have somebody help us out with our, because we've had to charter a bus. And then we've rented a, a truck in an 18 foot long. The, the charter bus company had a, a truck with an 18 foot long enclosed trailer for us to put our gear in. So we, we rented that and we rented a, a, a car to have. So we have, if the, we need to go somewhere besides, we, so we don't have to take the bus, we have to run an errand. So, yeah, so we're into, and so. And then I saw something for shirts, Yeah, they, they're ties. Looking, the, 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 the parent group is trying to get t-shirts for the kids. And then they're, we, well, we always get the kids ties for the season. Right. But they want to get a special one this year for this and then wear the rest of the year. So they're, so you can, uh, if you're interested in sponsoring, you can, again, use that email, contact me, and I'll get you lined out on how that works. Um, and that'd be great. And if, and if you don't know how to get a hold of me, you can get a hold of Randy, you can get, yep. or just call the school. If you call Templeton High School, they'll make sure I get the message. And or we'll just get, put we'll, up the crow signal, yeah. the, the crow light. Yeah, the bat light comes out, the crow, <laughs> and, I'll, and if you're, you're, you're willing to donate to our football program, we'll find you. <laughs> right. so you don't have, uh, Nobody has to pay a full boat on anything, but we've had a couple sponsors pay for each one of the meals, and plus then Brandon's brother paying for the dinner. Yeah, that's awesome. So the kids, the kids aren't going to be out of pocket anything for meals other than if they want snacks and stuff. Now, up in Idaho, do they follow any? I mean, obviously we have CIF. I mean, are their rules pretty comparable? Yes, they do a couple. They do two things that are majorly different, but won't affect the game per se. All of their divisions are permanently set by size of school. So that's how this one school has been in the same division to win four state championships. California, if they'd have won four state championships in their size, they'd be bumped up a division <laughs> right. ahead, ahead of us. Right. Right. So they they do it totally on the size of school. And the other thing they do is if you guys have watched college and NFL, well, mostly NFL, their officials configuration, like we have a guy that stands right behind the defensive line. Mm -hmm. It's called the umpire. Well, the NFL and and in college, they put the, what they call the center judge. They put them behind the offense, and that's what they do. That hmm. so their umpire, what we call an umpire, will not. There won't you won't see an official standing right behind the defensive lineman by the linebackers. He'll be on the other side behind behind the offense. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So that I mean, I watch some. I can't imagine it's not going to affect how the game is played sure. at all. But everything else is regular. NFHS rules. But as far as their um, their rules, as far as like pads being in pads, are they going to have any advantage? No, not really. I looked at their rule, their stuff. They 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 start one week before us. Okay. And but the last two years, this team has chosen not to play. Like we don't play early. I don't mm -hmm. know why. I've never asked our coach. But the, I, last year, the the Rumble was their first game, so they may have played one game before we get there. But we'll have went to the scrimmage that we did last year at King City. It rotates around because there's so many teams involved. We're going to go to Soledad and do that again. So we'll have seen four teams in a scrimmage before we get there too. So we're we're mm. not just going to be you know run a blind, and we traded film with them. So oh, very cool. So we have we know what you know. They have our last two games, and I have their last two games, and and hopefully well, there'll there'll be some sort of streaming feed. That, yeah, I, uh, I would imagine either they have an MHS camera or the whole, the yeah. I I can't imagine this thing's not streamed because awesome because where we're playing, you know. There's a, they're playing one night. They're playing Friday night. You know, Madison is, but everybody else is from out of the area. So I'm sure they're everybody's going to be wanting want to watch thing. it. Yeah. So awesome. Well, cool. Well, tell us one more time how everybody gets in touch with you. Okay. And so the easiest thing to do is call school, 805-434-5888 is the school number, and tell them you want need to get a message to Coach Crow. And then the next best way is my email, and that's d c r o w d crow at templetonusd.org. Awesome. And we'll, yeah, and, or find a kid that plays football or, yeah, but the easiest way is to call schoolers, email me, and we'll, we'll, get, we'll get you right to where you need to be. And, yeah, it, it, it's, a, it's a very, it's an expensive trip. I mean, it's, it's cost us a lot of money, but we raised a bunch, you know, we, the plane flight, and the, we, we covered all, we had that all covered, but we love people that want to sponsor to help the kids out, so that's awesome. Perfect. Coach, thanks, Randy. Glad yep. to be here. Yep. Thanks for coming on and looking forward to it. Well, we're, we're, we're very excited about next season. Uh, uh, good news is we get Morrow Bain and Tascadero get to come to Templeton. So, <laughs> to, yeah, so that's going to be fun. There you go. Looking forward to it. Thank you.
Well, there you have it, guys. Thanks for tuning in to the Eagle's Nest with Coach Crow. And if you guys want to be a sponsor, guys, reach out to them because they definitely need your help. And, guys, we can't do this without our sponsors, and we like to show the love. Uh, Escalar Wines, Wine Travelers Hideaway, Rancho Sestero Meat Cutting, Visit a Tascadero, 805 Customs, El Red Rooster, Kennedy Club Fitness, Amy and Jamie's Place, Airflow Filter Services, Pacific 805 Spas, and now Paso Robles Furniture. Thanks again, guys. We'll see you next time. Three, two, one.